well, boss, the way I got in trouble, the first time the folks was barring me, and I just got in contention and just wake and wake and wake so much, I had to wake and cut up the fella and shoot him up in the end. When I got out of penitentiary, I thought I had waked enough, and I decided I could make a living without waking, and I come at the foot and took the wrong food, and that wouldn't do it, and I just come at the steed, and everything was hot and nailed down, and the police had just come at the running and it was the right here, and we are doing so. After I got him started running me, I just kept on doing wrong. Fighting, stealing, you know, and robbing. Sometimes I wouldn't be done done nothing, but I've been doing so much there when they get me, where I, I do this guy. And one or two times they arrest me, and I told them I hadn't done nothing. They said, well, I arrest you in advance, you're going to do something. So I just said, I just stayed to be a test all the time. In and out, in and out for the last... 18 years.
is about sameness. And it's intentionally that way. Same food, same routine every day. Right now, I can tell you exactly what's going on in prison. Pretty much. And um, it's the same routine every day. When I was released, finally released from prison in um, November the 21st of last year, mind you that after 39 years of the same exact day, every day, and then all of a sudden, someone says, you can go. I stepped out into a world that was alien to me. New sounds, new smells, just the pace of life itself was so confusing. It was like, honestly, having an out-of-body experience that first day. Everyone thinks that prison was the in-between, but this right now feels like the in-between. you're in prison you don't have to be a prisoner you got to be a man you know and you got to get yourself together regardless of what the circumstances are and you got to press forward <laughs> 